I was told not to walk towards the camera, so I'm just going to stand right here. But uh, this is Matt Marvin's Vehement Knives, and I wanted to demo um, our sheet. This is our standard sheet. They come in different sizes, obviously, to fit different knives. This one's wrapped around our Kudo Misa. And I wanted to explain to you guys the features that we put into our sheath. We just got back from uh, a meeting with a bunch of knife nuts, and I, I guess some of it needed to be explained. We'll put it that way. And uh, it's all features that help you guys out in the field, really. Um, we recently moved to pull the dot snaps, which if you guys aren't familiar with them, they're US made, and they are a three-way locking snap. So it's basically the same principle as any other snaps on any other sheath, except on ours, you can't pull them apart. So you'll never break loose of your hip. It's real easy to take them on and off though, so you have the same convenience. Only difference is when you do lock them, you want to do, imagine that you're looking at this from a six o'clock to a 12 o'clock position. So you hook in the top and then press it down. Now we use those in all three locations, including the keeper strap. It's just an extra sense of uh, security as you're walking out through the woods or running around doing maneuvers or whatever it is that you do with the knives that you buy from us. The other thing about our sheath, it's real classic looking in the front. In the back, this is a little bit more contemporary flair. This is designed to be Molly compatible. Um, so on your, your plate carriers, on your backpacks, on any of your Molly or Pals webbing gear, these come undone, you lace it through, we all know how much fun that is, and then there you go. So now you have kind of an old school classic look that fits on all your contemporary kit. The other benefit of having this four tanger is that it splits that belt loop so you never have to pick the four aft position. Now you can still carry it as a traditional wherever you want, but on some trousers you'll notice there's one right at three o'clock, uh, or if you're left-handed, nine o'clock, and that'll split that belt loop and hold it nice and secure. And the third benefit of our hanger system is gonna be that should something snag and unsnap your sheath, you have redundancy. And that redundancy means that you have a 50% more chance of keeping your knife on your hip. And so the other cool thing, let's move to the front. And again, this is all, uh, this is all handmade sheath work here. We screw the, the, the throat together so the knife can't ever zipper out. Even after years of having this, you know, maybe dry rot if you didn't take care of it or you left it in the attic, you know, for a couple decades that mechanical bond right there between the screws and screw posts still ensure a secure fit with your sheath. Now, also, ambidextrous fit. And so if you're left-handed, if you're right-handed, if you're right-handed but you prefer to carry on your left side, whatever combination, we make all of our sheaths to fit, uh, you know, both, both hand dominance. When you switch sides, now let me just explain this real quick. When it's set up for right hand carry, and you're wearing it on your hip like this. As you're walking through the woods, the branches are glancing over your knife. We've always felt really strongly about this, that you should never have a tendency to want to flip your knife open and then potentially lose it by walking through the woods. Some knife sheaths you'll see clipped this way, and that's exactly what it does. It sets them up for loss. So what we did to counter that is if you go to a left-handed carry, you simply take your keeper strap, Rotate it 180 degrees. And now as you carry on the southpaw side, again, the branches just glance past, constantly reinforcing the security of your knife as you wear it on your hip. Um, we do full welt construction. It's a tapered welt to accommodate the thickness of the guard. And basically, um, if you're not boned up on the leather terminology, that means that there are pieces of leather between the face and the back that we stitch through. So the edge of the knife never comes in contact with the stitching. And so you can take a look at, you know, go to your military surplus store, go to your Cabela's and take a look at the way that they build their sheaths. And you'll notice that the stitching, although maybe reinforced by rivets or whatever, the stitching can still rub up against the, the, the edge of that sharp knife, uh, ultimately causing the sheet to fail. So ours are, the stitches are completely surrounded by leather and that's what the edge makes contact. It never cuts the threads themselves. Um, we treat all of ours with oil to give them an element of water repellency. It's leather. It's never going to be 100% waterproof unless you coat the entire thing in wax. Um, but this stuff we use, we use Ovenhoff's. It's really good stuff. It's what smoke jumpers use on their boots uh, when they go in to uh, fight uh, wildfires. So anyways, that's just a quick breakdown of the vehement knife sheath. You'll see this other than our scout sheath. 
Uh, and we'll do another video on that later. The, pretty much all of our shoes are of this same design, ambidextrous, molly adaptable, very securely built, and able to, to be reversible when you go between uh, carry positions. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, live vehemently, and stay tuned for more videos.